my worst problem is is you know like large companies like Walmart becoming so Chinese orientated. You know, chances are the reason the chickens are going to China and being slaughtered in China and bring them back is because Walmart can't control Tyson. Well, that's right, and and they're authorizing beef in from all over the world with basically no inspection, but they harass the living bonkers out of uh, all the small meat packers, so they're basically all gone, literally all gone. And I've talked to people that tried to go back into meat packing, and, and it's just if you have one violation as a small outfit, you're shut down. You can literally ship rotting slop out of a big facility and it's just all been, all the inspectors have been told that you will let this stuff go out. I appreciate your call. Great points. This man, again, there's a few engineers left in the country, and all they're doing is building the factories to ship them to China, and we're done. It's over. And even MIT came out last year, you can type this in, and said the U.S. has lost the technology war. We can never reclaim it. It's been transferred to China and India. We sold our brainchild. We sold our infrastructure. The, the, it's gone. Only cutting taxes by 50 plus percent and basically arresting the, the people that run the Federal Reserve. I mean, if we stopped it all right now and said no to all the fake derivatives, but the bankers will just put the economy into a nosedive if we do that. Hold us hostage like 2008. I mean, we are just hammered, folks. And a lot of people say, well, I'll just join the New World Order then. I'll just join the New World Order. There's not any slots in it, idiots. Everybody already sold out. And I'll use the porn analogy in an article I read in the Wall Street Journal years ago, and I've seen others since. You used to get a million dollars a year if you were a top porn star. You really were a star in that sense that you were famous and made a lot of money in the 70s and 80s. Once video editing got cheap and all the young girls wanted to be stars and ran out there, Women that look like Marilyn Monroe can't get more than $2,000 to do the most wild stuff you can imagine. So now they're not into porn as much, so the price is going back up. But it's an example. All you morons, and I'm talking to people that serve the system, not our listeners, who thought you'd sell out to evil and get ahead, you're idiots. Prosperity is what you get from a moral country. It's always been proven. Morality creates prosperity, honor creates prosperity, but then it creates spoiled children and grandchildren, and then corruption comes in and cons the dumb grandkids, and then evil takes over, and then it sets up a police state so nobody can stop them. And then you go through hell again before you become a moral society again. People make fun of old timers because they would, most of those old timers are dead now because they'd say, eat all your food, and you're really gonna eat all that? And my grandfather, my dad's dad, I told the story 50 times, it's so powerful. Every time I saw him, when we go out to a restaurant or even eating, he would uh, basically wait till everybody had eat until he ate. And, or he would, uh, if he went to a cafeteria or a restaurant, he never ordered food, and he ate what everybody didn't eat. And it was because he grew up in the Depression, even though they were upper class, and saw people you know, having to hunt to live. And then he went and saw people starving in Europe at the end of World War II. He, he was there during World War II, but after the starvation. And he, and he told my dad, once you see starving kids, and we're going to see starving children. We're going to see mass death. They're going to release bioweapons, folks. I know what they're going to We're screwed. Let me just tell you, if we don't repent right now and break with these people, it's over, okay? But all these spoiled brats, America throws away 40% of its food. And, and me included, I don't eat stuff in the refrigerator and let it rot. My mother grew up where they ate everything in the refrigerator. And she still lives like that. I'm a spoiled brat. I'm not up here on some high horse. I said I'd take your calls. I'm saying we've got to repent of what we become. Pigs. Let's talk to Michigan Patriot in Michigan. Thanks for holding, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Thank you for taking my call. You know, I, I'm, I'm calling. First of all, I want to let you know you're not a coot. <laughs> I, I, I'm calling because I follow you uh, and... Uh, I'm 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 extremely frustrated. I'm 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 frustrated that uh all you see on uh mainstream media is this uh junk about the uh clippers and and and, and you know uh, I feel like um America's being distracted. It's being distracted from 
from uh, Lois Lerner, from what's going on in Ukraine, what's going on with Israel, uh, all these different things uh, that are going on right now. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I, I'm i hoping that uh, we need to put a, sp- uh, a stop to it. We need to get people like Pro- Progress, uh, Professor Griff on and... and Give you know, I was watching, or, or it was watching, it was a YouTube, but it was audio, uh, like a 30 minutes of an hour-long show he did on Al Sharpton this morning, and I thought, get Professor Griff back on. Guys, can we get, yeah, just get him next week or something for like an hour if he'll do it or whenever he wants to. Uh, the video Skype's better. Or next time he's coming through town, thanks. Thank you so much, caller. I'm going to come back, go to Scott, Matt, Steve, Jeff, Bud, Tony, Chad, Curtis, and a bunch of others straight ahead. Two more segments of calls, and Joel Skousen on for 45 minutes. Then we've got Tosh Plumley, the CIA whistleblower on Benghazi in Illinois. Thanks for calling in. Thanks for holding. You're on the air. I've talked about a lot of stuff. What are you calling about today? Oh, man, I just want to say thank you for letting me listen to your show for 55 minutes, 22 seconds longer than I could have south of Chicago. So uh, if, you need to, if you need to know who I am or where I'm headed, talk to my buddies at the NSA. They'll let you know. But uh, I just, I got to be honest with you, 20 years ago, a buddy of mine gave me a book. It was called Who's Who the Elite. It's getting the living bejeebies out of me. But then I saw something on the web the other day after a buddy gave me a card of yours. Didn't even know who you were. He gave me a card, and he checked it out, and looked at a nice little ceremony that was going on in the forest of California and uh, connected the dots. And, oh, my God, you're right. So there's some interesting stuff going on. It is a worldwide government. And you know what? Sometimes you just got to bend over and take it because that's where we're headed. And I appreciate what you're saying. But the problem I have is very few want to listen. And even if you do get the message out, very few care because they want to go back to their happy world, their all you can eat the days and they're watching sports center. I agree with you, so. but there's a reason they're setting up a high tech police state. They're going to take all the slop away, and the public is going to go crazy, and they're going to use that crisis to bring in total control. And so, just like your buddy gave you a card and you found this show, you can wake up sheeple and say stuff's going to get crazier and crazier. If you want to know how the world really works, you know, check this out or check this film out. And the people that matter will wake up and take action. 5% started and won the war against the British. We have way more than that. God bless you. But on the subject of spreading the word, if you're a PrisonPlanet.tv member, folks, you've absolutely got to share your membership with 11 people. 11 people can simultaneously log on with a PrisonPlanet.tv membership. Share it. And believe we can change things. We have a lot of allies in the power structure who don't like what's happening. But we have to have courage as well. I mean, folks, I'm not that smart. And I've been like a wrecking ball to these people in 19 years. Constant success every time we take the field. That's what history shows. We are stronger than these people. But we've got to set our will against them. Let's go ahead. You know what that means? Set your will against them. Look into that. Let's talk to Steve in Maine. You're on the air. Go ahead. Well, hello, Alex. How are you? Good, brother. What's on your mind? What's on my mind? Well, let me say it real quick. I've got 60 seconds. I come from uh, living the uh, system way and uh, ended up getting really sick. I went to 300 pounds from 168. Uh, on the end of it, it was 24 meds a day. Um, 13 diagnosis in last year of May. I basically broke away from it. I was listening to you since 2009. I've died, come back, had strokes, the whole wow. works. And um, now I have one diagnosis, no medication. Um, no, I don't need a doctor anymore. And basically, they, it's all fear. They just try, oh, be careful, don't do this, you're going to die. Be careful, do this, you're going to die. Call me, call me, do this. And it basically takes the creator, I mean, it just rips you apart. Well, and then, me, I mean, medical science is great if you got your leg broken, but it's true that the number one killer in the country now is prescription drugs, and they're screwing so many people up, and folks have deficiencies, you name it. Thank you so much for your testimony. That's an amazing story. In fact, I'll come back to you briefly to finish up. This is G.
KCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com.